Hello, Math 033 students. In this tutorial, we're going to continue and finish up step one for our lining things up project. Now, we've already learned how to save the file, how to name the file, how to change the worksheet tab to say data. We've also created um, our columns and labels and our cities. We've found all 15 of our cities plus their one way distance and calculated their round trip distance. And now we need to figure out their cost. So let's go back and look what it says here. So we've already researched the flights. Now we want to research them from Saturday the 13th of August to Saturday the 20th of August 2016. Or if you're watching this tutorial in a later semester, whatever dates you are given. And we're only interested in nonstop flights. So back in your data worksheet, we're going to record the cost of the cheapest nonstop flight between DTW, Detroit, and each of your cities. And remember to label the total price for the entire flight. Okay, so let's go back here. We need to figure this out. So, oops, sorry, I need the menu and the map here. So let me pick one of my cities. And this is why I wanted it in alphabetical order. It'll make it easier for me to find. So I want to go with Bangor, Maine, the first one of my cities. So if I scroll down here, I can see, okay, Bangor, Maine was 749 miles. Yep, that's what I said it would be. That's the round trip distance. And now I need to calculate the cost. Now Bangor, Maine is BGR. So we want to keep that in mind as we go search for the flights. And then I'm going to go over here and you can do this a couple ways. I'm going to click on book a flight right here. And it's going to open up a new tab in my browser where I can search for costs of flights. So when I clicked on this an hour ago, it opened up a new tab, but now it's being kind of possessed on me. So if that happens to you, don't flip out. Just go to a new tab yourself and type delta.com. You'll be able to find flights this way if you need to. All right, so let's think here. We want to have our flight be from DTW. That's going to be Detroit Metro. That's the flight you're going to go to. And you're going to want to choose August 2016 or whatever date you have to choose for your particular um, semester that you're in. So I can't remember what it said. August, August what? August 13th. So let me go back. August 13th. Oop, no, hold on. I want to start at August 13th. And I want to end at August 20th. At least I'm pretty sure. Yep, 13th through the 20th. Okay, so there we have it. And then I want to choose my airport. And this is where it helps if you have those other three initials. So if I click back here, I can see Bangor, Maine. If I scroll down to it. Bangor, Maine was BGR, if I'm not mistaken. Oops, I've gone too far. There it is. BGR, Bangor, Maine. It's kind of up there. You can see Bangor right above the little screen. Okay, so I want to click on that. So I'm going to type BGR. And it tells me Bangor, Maine. Yep, that's the one I want. And then I can find flights. And there it comes up. And I can see how much it's going to cost. And we want to pick the cheap fare. And we're not going to pretend that we're going to be in business class, right? So we would say right here, 610.60. So that's what we will go type in to Excel. 610.60. Now do not use the dollar signs when you do this. Just leave it like this as a decimal, right? Um, Excel has the dollar sign feature, but we don't want to use that at this point. All right, now we want to go find Cancun. Cancun might have more flights. So now, now that we're in here, you can see that the dates are set at 13 and 20, so that's great. And then BGR, I can just change this right here to whatever Cancun is, which I believe is CUN, but I can scroll through the list down here to find it. Oops, there it is, I went past it. Cancun, C-U-N, Cancun. So I can go over here and I can just type C-U-N. I don't have to redo the whole thing. Now, if you like, you can click advanced search. Well, here, let me click search so I can show you how this works. There, there are the flights. I had some issues with my Google Chrome, so I ended up actually opening this up in Firefox and it was going a little faster for me. So here we have CUN Cancun. Now, keep in mind, we only want to look at nonstop flights. That's actually one of the options right here. 
is you can unselect one stop and only keep nonstop clicked. When you do that, it'll only show you the nonstop flights. And if there were two different prices here, we'd go with whichever one's cheaper, but it's the same price. So 681. So that's this one, 681. Just leave it. And then let's go look up Charleston. Now I've got to remember what the heck the signature was, sorry, I was just thinking there, what the signature was for Charleston. I was thinking Charleston, South Carolina, which is CHS. So it's the three digit code is what I'm thinking of. So let's think here. Charleston CHS. Let me go back. That is up here. I want to go CHS instead of CUN. And then I'm going to click search. And it's going to find me only nonstop flights on the 18th or 813 through 820 from Detroit to CHS. And here's the flight to Charleston. It took it a while to come up and it is now 537.80 is the cheapest portion and that would be a basic economy. So we're college students, we're poor, we'll go with the cheapest one. And since I did that last video, I actually had to redo it. Um, the website was being a little possessed and the price to Cancun went up. Believe it or not, it's now $716 and it's only like five minutes after the last time uh, we saw it. So it just shows you how those flights are changing all the time. So you want to go in here and now we want to put in the next one, which would be Lexington. So now you can actually type, let's see, if we type Lexington right here, if I click on that little destination thing, I can look up the airport in the U.S. and Canada and I can scroll through and figure out, I know I'm going to Kentucky, so it's Lexington, Kentucky. I could type it that way, or you could just look them up alphabetically. So I'm doing this by clicking on that little blue icon right there, um, little kind of a pin, and I can look up different cities and different states. So I can look up the different airports. And there's Lexington, Kentucky right there. I think it's the LEX one that we were looking at. So LEX, I click search, and I have to wait. And there they are. And there's a whole bunch of different nonstop ones. We're going to go with the cheapest one. So we're going to go with the 378.20. And you just continue in this fashion and find the prices for all of your flights. Now remember to save this file often. And the way to save it, the little icon up here, you are probably too young to remember what that is. It's called a floppy disk, but it's save, right? So they used to have drives and computers that would have um, slots for disks like that sort of like a USB drive, but with a lot less memory on it and much slower and they could get possessed and not work anymore. So um, you're going to do this for each one of your cities and you're going to go through and find the prices for each city. Now you could go look up the city icon for London um, by going back to the, oops, sorry, back to this um, screen here and search for London. But this map can often get really finicky and not work, um, make you wait a really long time. So if you want, you can just type in here, London, and let's see what happens. Oops, search, no, see, it doesn't like that. It wants the three letter income, okay, fine. So let's see, um, if I go to alphabetically and I look up and I know I want London, I'd have to go find it, okay, L, oops, I went too far. You have to search for it. So it's not going to be as nice. Lisbon, London. There we go. So London City, London Gatwick, London Heathrow, probably London Heathrow. Um, London's a big enough city that there's actually several airports for London Heathrow. So you can pick London City area airports if you want to just any one of them and you don't care which one you come in on and choose that. So LON. And then you can click off of that and click search. So it's helpful if you know the um, country and so on that you're looking for. And then look at that. Wow. To get to London, it's 2216.40. All right. So I'm going to continue in this fashion and type in all the rest of my costs. I'll be right back. Don't forget to save, though, continuously as you go. You don't want to have to redo all of this. I just wanted to show you one other thing. If you click on the little blue pin, if you know your country, like I'm looking at Montreal, Canada right now. So if I know I'm going to be in Canada... Let me go up 
here, down here. You can kind of scroll through here. It's a little finicky, but you can do it and pick C-A-N-A-D-A -A -A for it. You can scroll through the different ones. There it is, Canada. So I click on Canada. Again, it's a little finicky, but you can make it work. And then I wanted to pick Montreal. So there is Montreal. And I can click on that. And it fills in the I-U-L, believe it or not, is Montreal. No idea how they came up with that one. And then there it is. And I'm going to go with the cheapest flight. So that would be 500.33. So I'm going to put that in. So that's another way you can use that search menu so you don't have to go back to the very beginning all the time. So now I know my country is the Bahamas. So I'm gonna find Bahamas in here. Oops, I went too far. There, that's the Bahamas. And then, who knew there were so many airports in the Bahamas? I'm just gonna go with Freeport and see what happens. And if, it's, if it ends up being that it was a different one that I could go to, then it'll let me know. It'll tell me there's no flights to that particular spot. Yeah, see right there, no results found. Okay, so I'll have to go back and figure out from that map which one it was, or I could just try every single different one from the Bahamas. I mean, both of those are options. And here I'm back there, I can see it's NAS is for Nassau. So if I go to here, I want NAS. That's the one I'm, yep, see Nassau, Bahamas. I should have known that, that was kind of silly. All right, then I'm gonna click Find Flights and wait a while. And so what I'm running into here is that there aren't any flights for that particular journey um, on that time. So it must be that the flights to the Bahamas don't happen in August. Bummer. I'm not going to be able to go to the Bahamas. So I'm going to have to knock off Nassau. I'm going to have to put something else in its place. That's okay. What you can do is you can find a different city. I can right click and delete. So what I'm doing is, um, let me first let me find another city one second. If I find a city near Nassau alphabetically, then this is fine. I can just pick New Orleans. Say like, I'll go to New Orleans. That's 929. So I'll put that in instead. And I notice that that's MSY. All right. So if you put one in that's right near it, then you don't have to um, delete the columns or anything like that. If you want to put in a different one, you might have to delete this row and put it in a column somewhere or a row somewhere else. So it's best if you just pick one that's right near it, which I think it was 921. Let me double check that distance. Oh, 929. 929. So I'm going to go back to the flight and say I'm going to go to MSY. What was that again? New Orleans. New Orleans was MSY. Indeed, I was right. So I'm going to go to New Orleans. Go to Bourbon Street. Get some good food. Okay, so let me go back to my Excel spreadsheet. It was 929. So then notice this automatically got filled beautifully because the formula is still holding. And I have to wait for the computer to tell me what the flight is going to cost me. Nice and cheap, 360 point, or 363.6. Of course, that's probably because it's roasting hot in August in New Orleans. All right, and then we got to go to New York. Now, we can pick anyone. I think I pick LaGuardia Airport um, as the most common one. So I'm going to pick New York. And again, if you want to use that search feature, you can. If you're sitting here looking at the screen, you can scroll right to it and figure out which New York airport you were trying to go to. Oh, no, I was going to JFK International Airport, so that would be JFK. So I'll go back here and pick, I can just type JFK if I already know it, and click search. And there are the flights. And the cheapest one is 414.2. There, I have all the costs and the cities and everything. Now, it got a little possessed on me. It wouldn't let me travel to Sao Paulo either. Apparently, there are no flights in the particular time frame I'm looking for. I want to make these columns better um, in terms of width, so I'm going to highlight column D. So I clicked on the D, and then I make my cursor and turn into that double-sided arrow, and I double-click. And then I can do that for actually all of these columns. Double-click, and it'll make all of them big and small. And I actually want to make this, I'm going to highlight the whole table, go to the Home ribbon, and I'm going to click on this little icon right here, and I can add borders. I'm going to click All Borders. That gets it a nice border for the table, so it makes it more distinct. And then actually, I want to make it so that all of the words are in the center. So I'm going to click on this little icon right here, and it centers your content. And so now everything's nice and centered, and my table looks nice and good. I'm going to click 
the little save icon because I don't want to lose this. So I'm going to make sure that I save it every step of the way. All right, now let's pull up the project. I think we've done everything correctly. We found our distances. We found our flights. Uh oh, it wants us to call it total price. I called it cost accidentally. I shouldn't have done that. So I should call it total price. Sorry about that. And now I've got to make this bigger again. So I'm going to double click on that double sided arrow and make it so that it says total price up there. All right, we're all set. I'm going to save again and then I'll see you back here for the next portion in the next tutorial.